What's up you guys? What is going on? And welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to American Football video. My name's Jacob. I am a rugby player. I haven't played for about two years, but I have 20 years experience. So if you want to hit me up, you want to ask me any questions about rugby, anything, please do. But not in the comment section below because it gets absolutely flooded. So if you do want to ask me anything directly to do with rugby, please hit me up on Instagram, underscore Jacob McDonald. Now, with that being said, today we're going to continue uh, with my current journey, which is picking out my top players, my most interesting players from the top 20 or 30 or even 40 uh, picks of the 2020 NFL Draft. We've done Chase Young at number two, Jeff Okuda, number three, Andrew Thomas, number four, Tua Tangavailoa, number five. I've already had a look at Joe Burrow, which was number one, and also Justin Herbert, which was number six. So with that being said, if seven or eight or nine or ten interest me, we're going to have a look at them right now. I should bring up a list and just have a quick look. I'm pretty sure the next one I wanted to look at was the linebacker from Clemson, Asaya Simmons. And he went pick number eight. So yes, we've got Justin Herbert. I've looked at him. We've got Derek Brown. I Look, I'm just going to have to skip you. I'm really sorry. Asaya Simmons, outside linebacker, who ran a 4-3-9 at the combine. We've got CJ Henderson, which is the Jaguars' first pick. So actually thinking about it, I probably should have a look at him. Mackay Becton, he was definitely one that stood out to me. Henry Ruggs, the third. I've heard a hell of a lot of him um, after looking at Tua's video with Alabama. And as well as that, I heard Jerry Judy's name quite a bit too. So, as far as I see it, Asaya Simmons, CJ Henderson, Mackay Becton, Henry Ruggs, Tristan Wirfs, Jerry Judy, CD Lamb, possibly Justin Jefferson, possibly Jordan Love, definitely Clyde Edwards Hilaire, who was the first running back to be picked. And I know who the last player I'm going to choose is, which if you didn't know, is Jonathan Taylor. But as well as that, we've got T Higgins, a 6 foot 4, 216 pound wide receiver from Clemson. Now if I knew his story, I'd probably want to look at him, but I don't. Uh, we've got DeAndre Swift, running back from Georgia. Then we have Jonathan Taylor, the running back from Wisconsin. So, the first player we're going to look at today is Isaiah Simmons. I want to have a look at their highlights, but also include a little bit of analysis at the start. We're going to look at his stats. We're going to get a head around, you know, his, his accomplishments whilst at college football, where he played in high school, you know, his size, speed, stats, all that shit. And then we're going to go straight into a, a highlight clip. And hopefully these videos will stay under 20 minutes. Isaiah Simmons, born July 26th, 1998 is an American football linebacker for the Cardinals of the NFL. He played college football at Clemson and was drafted by the, well that's a spelling mistake, um, and was drafted with the 8th overall pick in the first round of the 2020 draft. Simmons is noted for his positional versatility, playing at linebacker, defensive end, cornerback and safety whilst at Clemson. That's pretty interesting. I don't think there's been a player who's been drafted so highly that's played at different positions for a very long time. He's 21, 6 foot 4, 238 pounds, we'll call it 240, 110 kg. So he was born in Omaha, Nebraska on July 26, 1998. Now that's really interesting because a friend of mine, Reuben Linton, was born. Well, I don't know if he was born there, but he definitely lives there. No, he lives in Lincoln, Nebraska. On July 22, 1998, Isaiah Simmons was born. He later attended Olathe North High School in Olathe, Kansas, playing defensive back and wide receiver. He committed to Clemson University in February 2016. And having a look at Simmons, having a look at his physical stature, speed, height, imagine him as a wide receiver. Simmons redshirted his first year at Clemson in 2016. As a safety in 2017, he played in 14 games. So he has played as a safety for a full season, recording 49 tackles and one sack. I suppose a safety or a cornerback is not, you know, too different to a linebacker. But if you're playing on an offensive side of the ball and then a defensive side of the ball, that's completely different. And I think I've asked this question before, whether anyone in the NFL actually currently plays both sides of the ball. And I don't think, it's, I don't think that happens. In 2018, he converted to linebacker. 
In 15 games, Simmons had 97 tackles, basically double the tackles he had in the first year, 1.5 sacks and one interception. He returned to Clemson in 2019 rather than enter the 2019 draft, so he was considering entering the draft the year before. He would have only been 20 years old, maybe even 19. Simmons received the Buckus Award as the nation's best linebacker for his performance that year. After graduating in December 2019 with a degree in sports communication, Simmons announced that he would forgo his senior year by declaring for the 2020 draft. During his time at Clemson, Simmons was noted for his positional versatility, taking snaps at linebacker, defensive end, cornerback, and safety, as we know. So he's got a degree in sports communication. That's pretty fucking cool. It's definitely going to set him up for a career in football outside of the game, outside of playing when he's done. 44 career games, 239 combined tackles, 150 of those tackles being solo, 89 of them being assisted, and 9.5 total sacks. Although in his final year, he balled out and he got seven. Passes deflected, he had six his first year, six his second year, and eight his third year. He had a total of four interceptions throughout his career, uh, 69 interception yards for an average of 20.5 return yards per interception. I, I'd actually love to see some of those interceptions. And hopefully we will. He had one touchdown. So he had a return touchdown. Or, did he, or was that a receiving touchdown? No, no, return. Return touchdown in 2018 for 27 yards. He's got five force fumbles throughout his career and one fumble recovery. So, six foot, three and five eighths of an inch, 238 pounds, an arm length of 33 and three eighths of an inch, Hand size of 9.5 inches, a 40 yard dash of 439, which has placed itself in history. Um, no 10 yard, no 20 yard, no 20 yard shuttle, no 3 cone drill, but we've got a 39 inch vertical and an 11 foot broad jump. I can't wait to see this guy play. Simmons participated in the 2020 Combine, leading all linebackers with a 439 40 yard dash. He was one of 58 players invited to the draft, which was held virtually due to the pandemic, where he was drafted by the Cardinals with the 8th overall pick. So what we've got here is an athlete, um, a specimen, um, six foot four, 110 kg, running a 43940. That's that's probably like a 10, 10, 500 meter dash. The sad thing is, is that this guy's playing on defense. You know, he's, ne he's not going to get rep after rep with the ball. He's basically going to be trying to shut down the players with the ball. And it's just disappointing for me coming from a rugby background, definitely liking, you know, having the ball in my hand rather than trying to tackle someone it's just disappointing because with that those kind of attributes you want to see them on the offensive side of the ball or at least i do but with all that being said i'm going to call it a day here we're going to finish this video and we're going to come right back with Isaiah simmons highlights and with that being said i'll see you then i'm sorry i couldn't combine the videos it's just going to go too long and we don't want that peace out